All right, so this is probably my 50th time re-recording this uh, intro. Um, I'm having a hard time talking, and there's a bug flying around my face now. And uh, yeah, I think I'm catching a cold and I'm just, just sounding nasally and whatnot. And uh, I can't talk straight right now. And instead of trying to get the perfect take, you're just going to get this. <laughs> anyway, um, so today we're doing Is It Pirates? Is it the colors? Not asking, is it pirates? But, uh, you probably already know that. Anyway, um, so this is a deck I found online that I wanted to try out to test out pirates, see what I think about it. And uh, yeah, stick around till the end to, I don't know, uh, see me break the deck down a little bit further and talk about what I liked and what I didn't like and maybe like what direction I think the pirates should go. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's 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 it. That's the intro. Uh, let's just get to those games. Here's a game where I'm on the play and no turn. Well, we could no no. Never mind. No turn one, but we have a turn two, turn two. So let's try it out. Start off with a tap land. Get the captain down. Uh, we're gonna go with island for now. Yeah, we'll get the captain down. I think I'm gonna save Malcolm for later. Um, Golgari tends to have a lot of uh, removal. Mm, Jund. Okay, it's Jund uh, dinosaurs. All right. Could actually go Larsenist. So here's a question. If I make... Mm, or we could go Breaches. Let's go Breaches. All attack. One attack. And create a treasure token. Like this. There we go. And end the turn. Sorry, it took a while for me to see the line there but there was a lot of uh oh okay geological appraiser so maybe not dinosaurs maybe it is dinosaurs sorry um so we've got a few things we can do i think start off with this then this turning their uh, summit zero. I think. Do we want to ramp them though? I don't think we do, right? Oh well, yeah, we'll just do this. And then all attack. We will make a treasure. Target creature can't block. And exile the top card. Um, do that. Just kind of spread the. Uh, spread the uh, power evenly, I guess. Mm, we could Witch Doctor Frenzy, but I think I'm going to Malcolm this turn. Dinosaurs don't typically have reach. Oh, there's that flying dinosaur. Also, I think we go wide enough. They have a hard time um, killing all the creatures because um, dinosaurs tend to have a bit more of a, um, a less removal. It's a target one creature type of removal. Okay. So 
There's about four in the air. Okay. One removal. I think we still attack. Yep. Oh, I should have frenzied one of their uh, one of the creatures. I guess I still can. Should have done this first. Do they have something? Two mana. Dang, okay. Oh, I did not have another red mana. I thought I did. Oh, well, apparently uh, they didn't have anything they could play, so... That's the other th bad thing about dinosaurs. If you lose... Um, if you don't ramp up quick enough and your hand is just full of big dinosaurs, you can't play them. I'm just gonna say, good game. <laughs> oh my god. I think get rid of that one. Play this one. Reaches, but we need to draw land. We can do the spyglass and then um, use a map to see if we can find a land if we don't draw a land. Hey, we found the land. Let's see if you want to block one of those two. Okay. So maybe they have a uh, pump spell or shore up. Okay. All right, well, let's let's see what we can do. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So, if they spend this mana, we can actually Witch Talker Frenzy the uh, Drake. Oh, crap! It was before the treasure was made. Okay. Well, we can still play this out. phone call from my wife. Excuse me while I mute myself. What? Oh, okay. Hi, Moshi Moshi. On the play, these should be wins. <laughs> Typically not. All right. We can keep this. Like this. Chain two. Artifact. Never mind. token and oh, I can there's no point in exiling the top well we'll just do this Graveyard Trespasser. Not cool. Uh, treasure token and exile top. All the breaches in the world. Uh, 
Alrighty then, well... We'll just go wide. Preacher of Schism, if they attack. Okay. Alright, great treasure. Hopefully they don't have a sweeper. Well, I guess if they have a Gix's command, that would be like the worst thing they can do. But, well, I was gonna say, we do have a hasty monkey. I feel like I'm flooding at like key moments in this deck. Celestis. I haven't had a go for throw or anything so far. She'll just eat it, yes. Alright. So, uh, there's something about this deck. I feel like this isn't the first time this happened where it may be my just the way I'm playing it, but I feel like. I get to a certain point, and I can't finish the opponent off. Um, and I just start flooding. 21 lands, and I just start flooding, you know? Um, it, it might be my place out. Like, I, sh I should not have played all my creatures out there, maybe. I don't know. There's no way for me to do five damage. Wait, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a game. But. Okay. I don't know if that was the right call, but that's what I'm going to do. Scout. Okay. Alright. Alright, I actually like Captain Storm. Though, I feel like what I was reading online, a lot of people aren't so, uh, so hot on this creature. But, I think there's enough, um, 
artifacts in the whole pirate thing to uh, warrant it. Red mana is important. I guess we're racing. Uh, do we want to exit out the top? So blue green typically don't have to worry about sweepers. Hey, I use that. Okay, second time now that when I use the breaches uh, exile <laughs> mode, um, I just exile another breaches. Not exactly the um, best draw. And a turn there. It's so cold, I'm like actually shaking. <laughs> Give me some more hot coffee. Oh. Okay. Ooh, hex catcher. Target non future spell. Okay, another subterranean schooner. Schooner? I don't know how to pronounce that. Schooner. Okay, attack in. No blocks. All right, treasure token exile. Malcolm's good. I would rather draw Malcolm than uh, exile it so I can play at flash speed, but I'll take it. Let's 
see. If I can get rid of some lands here. That's good too. Alright. Let's end the turn there. Make him think we have something. Maybe I'll put some stops in. And see, I think this is what makes pirates so good is if you have enough flyers to get above the other creatures. And personally, I don't think Merfolk is that great of a deck from what I've seen. Could be wrong, but... Just binder, tide binder, uh, no blocks. And yeah, we pretty much, uh, as long as they don't have some sort of removal. Okay, maybe they have a bounce spell. Direction. Do they have flash speed flyer? Okay. So this one, sacrifice more folk, country. Okay. So that doesn't really do much, does it? Yeah, I don't think uh, any of those creatures have uh, reach. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, we can keep this. I don't know about how well this is going to do on the draw, but pirates being this is this is a very um, what's the word? It's supposed to be a pretty aggressive deck, so. Against Mono Red on the draw, probably not going to win. Okay. See how they do this here. Do they attack in? No. Okay. So, do 
that. Yeah, we want that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Zero and go like that. Wow, uh, actually doing not too bad against the uh, model red. Oof. All right, so what's the best way to deal with this? I think we're gonna have to take the hit this turn. Okay, and then, uh, do it like this. Okay, do I want to exile the top card? Might as well. Okay. Okay, wait till right before they attack. Let that resolve. Pass. Okay. Summit zero. Oh man, I was not expecting that. <laughs> On the draw with a very slow hand. Storm car coast. Always like this. All right. Um, maybe we'll draw it into. Because if I do nothing turn one and then subterranean screwner turn two, that's like two turns of nothing. All right, but let's. Okay, we'll go Stormcarb Coast turn one. Never mind. Never didn't have it. As they say. Gruel. Dinosaurs. Can't attack into that. Okay. 
fight rigging. Okay. I think, uh, <laughs> I think I lost this one. Um, yeah. Hopefully their fight rigging misses and they just drew that. Yes, that's perfectly fine. Are they going to attack in? Yes. Well, uh, no blocks. I guess we're taking seven. Another breaches. Great treasure and eggs out the top. Um, yeah, we could use a flyer. So we could technic oops, sorry, I hit the mic. Uh, we could technically kill the hammer skull now. Hope that they don't have. Maybe it would have been better to kill the uh, the mana dork. I don't know, but I'm thinking they can play one big creature. Yeah, that has discover. Okay, well, that didn't work out. Either way, we're going to get uh, three attacks in. Uh, yeah, angle up top. Well, that's not good. See what big creature they have next. Trying to think, it takes seven. On the crackback, I can get. All right. Okay, so. Next. Get five. Oh, 
Okay, I got it. I got it. All right, next. All tech. All right, so exile. There we go. Land. Perfect. All right. Still kind kind of flooding out. What's their last card? Ooh, that's not gonna do it. That is not gonna do it. Wow, wow, I think we won this one. Jesus. <laughs> All right, and that's the conclusion of the games. Uh, what did you guys think? It's pretty impressive, right? Well, maybe you'll notice that the deck looks a little bit different now from the beginning. Uh, that's because it is. I changed out a few cards, or mostly I removed some cards and added more of other cards. Um, I really like Captain Storm, and I really like Malcolm, and having only two copies just didn't seem right, so I went three copies of those. Um, I went up on one more Witch Stalker Frenzy, and I removed the Roaming Throne and the Belligerent, which never showed up. Though I'll be honest, before I started recording, I had Roaming Throne come up a couple times during my test plays, and uh, I, sh I guess I should explain what Roaming Throne does. Uh, Roaming Throne is a 4 mana 4-4 four, four with Ward 2. And then when you play it, uh, you choose a creature type. So in this case, you choose pri pirates. And then uh, anytime a triggered ability of a pirate triggers, it triggers twice. But honestly, having a four mana creature, I felt was too much. And I wanted to just focus on the core of what this deck was trying to do. And uh, I think it performed a little bit better that way. Just focus on the pirates for now. I don't think that it's a bad idea to have this card in the deck. It's just a question of what will you remove, right? Um, aside from that, the belligerent, I never got to use it. Um, even in test playing and even in the, um, I think, 15 games I played. <laughs> uh, with, oh yeah, and with that being said, so, so here it is. So, 7 and 5. So you, got, you guys saw mostly the games I won, but it, it's a 58% uh, win rate, which isn't too bad, but... 7-5 is not 15 games, it's 12 games. I know how to do math. But uh, out of 12 games, you know, 7 games won. That's not too bad. Uh, the newest version, I only played the last 2 games. Uh, so it's a 2-0, so 100% win rate with the uh, new version of it. Overall, I think I, I think there's a lot of good pirate creatures. And it has really good synergies with uh, artifacts. But I don't think that this is going to be like a tier one deck. There's something here, but this is, I don't think this is the final version of the deck. Um, I think it's going to be more of a hybrid of like pirates and something else, maybe possibly a Grixis, Grixis shell. I don't know. Either way, uh, those are my thoughts on this deck. If you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I hope you're having fun playing Magic and I'll see you in the next video.